to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome. When you come into Christ, and you get born again immediately the holy ghost begins his work of transformation and that transformation is not just changing you as it were physically but he begins to work on your mindset he begins to scrutinize and edit your mindset thoroughly and let me tell you something this does not happen overnight are you listening to me because you have come to gain security and confidence over certain mindsets for instance there are certain people who never believe that they can make it in life on their own there must be an external help somewhere i don't mean godly help you get what i'm saying they can never there are students that even if you give them the exam question before the exam they will still fail the only thing is that let me copy it and answer it in a sheet and then enter with it mindset that's how they 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 went from primary one to js1 during why that was what happened that's how they wrote jam it has become a mindset so when you say you are victorious he said of course with my paper on my hand and my ability to be crafty and corny i know i'll make it in this life hallelujah there are other people who believe that the way to treat people is an eye for an eye tooth for tooth what else for what again leg for leg anything do me as i do you don't say that other part because it's very ungodly hallelujah and so we have all kinds of we we have guys who come from cultures where a lady cannot talk looking at the guy in the eye correct she will bow down or do whatever now you come into a new environment and you carry your village with you and you're moving everywhere hoping that everyone is that atmosphere mindsets so now you are in a class for instance or you are in koinonia like this and they say give your neighbor a high five and you are wondering there are contemplations in your heart what kind of disrespectful environment is this mindset let me tell you as you see people move they are carrying several things with them they may be quiet you may put with one on it you may bab it only they are mindsets mindsets there are certain people who have never seen a miracle in their life never seen one and so the day they see anything i watch the faces of people during miracle service and i see the shock that happens when you lift your hands and someone falls by your side you're just mindsets every time the word of god comes you know what it does it's like an arrow and it hits different mindsets so mindsets say lie lie i don't agree it begins to challenge your mindset and it's like a wall strongholds listen Demons take advantage of these mindsets and they access certain lives. There are many families today who believe that they believe in what I call traditional Christianity. You, you get my point? We love God. We we'll go to church on Sunday. However, we won't go and visit the man but there are certain things we can take along with us. When the going gets tough, it's the tough that gets going. And so we use that mantle. Where is the God of our herbalist? And you use it to part the Red Sea. And so there are mindsets. Mindsets. There are many fathers today, for instance. The day the wife calls him darling, he looks and says, Ah, what is my wife watching? That's supposed to be a lovely compliment. But the man will be offended for maybe months. I say, what kind of disrespect is this? hallelujah or a small child just say mommy i need to tell you something you say you didn't even add my mindsets
There are guys who will never greet a lady for instance and say you must be the one to greet me. That's how it is in our village. So they are carrying it again. Atmosphere. Mindset. Although you are born again, now follow me. You are born again. You are filled with the Holy Ghost. But you carry it with you. And when God wants to step in and do something in your life, those mindsets stand as strongholds. Are you listening to me? And so God must break those mindsets and they give way. There are some of you who never believe that you can help anybody. There's one very dangerous house statement. What did Aleba Aleba Kumusamu? Don't ever find yourself confessing that statement. It's a curse on yourself. Hallelujah. There are people who believe, listen to me, there are people who believe that they can never be blessed to be a blessing to others. Hallelujah. There are other people who believe, I'm telling you, maybe some of you are even here. There are some people who believe God can never hear them directly. They say, pray for us. You think they are joking, but they mean it. I want to ask you a question tonight what mindset did you come here with tonight because god is about to work on certain mindsets dangerous and terrible mindsets there are people who believe for instance you can get born again get into a relationship sleep around so long as you are going to marry the lady guaranteed it's a mindset so when the word of god is coming about purity and holiness that mindset say forget it who is not doing it there are mindsets that believe that if you want honor, be a pastor. Correct? And sadly, there are many ministries. That's what they call spiritual development. So the day you get born again, your ambition, your goal, your plan is to come to a point where you become a pastor. So all the brothers want to be pastors. And if you are not a pastor, you are a failure based on the mindset that has been created. So everybody's moving around. I'm a pastor. I'm this, I'm that. There are certain people, listen, who because of the challenges that they went through, they, you drank gari using your hand. Eh? You mix the sugar with your hand and drank it. So that anger is still in you. And you are looking for the people to vent that anger on. So the day they make you a leader, you try to make sure you prove to everybody you are not as naive as before again. Why did you bring fork for me to eat this food? Why did you do this? As if you were not using your hands before. Mindsets. And we, are you getting blessed tonight? And we use these things to define our behavior with other people. There are other people who believe that once you are simple with certain people, they disrespect you. So the moment they see anybody, they square up their shoulder. Say, please bring me my blackberry. Say, no, the other one, I mean the bold, bold what? Not the other one. Or let me even use the galaxy tab. I think that one will be faster. What is, who cares? Now, you think the people are being impressed. And someone else with his mindset is being surprised. He's saying, you mean this is the definition of fulfillment in this man's world. Hallelujah. So the guy is coming close to a lady and he's flipping his phone. And in his world, he has people like him. He has found them around. So they have become groups. There are mindsets. So who is wearing which watch? Who is wearing this? And that's all his pursuit. That's what drives him. You are sitting at the back, but you believe based on your mindset that everybody is seeing you. Mindsets can be terrible. Let me tell you. Mindsets. Hallelujah. There are guys that come with mindsets. They believe. No lady can tell me no. I ask any lady I want at any time. I don't hear no. I am this. I am chief this. I am chief that. Devilish, satanic strongholds of the mind. Are you following me now? There are mindsets. There are certain people who have been taught money doesn't grow on trees. All these tithes, they are deceiving you. All these giving you better keep your money. They can have one million naira. You, you have 10,000. If you give them 100 naira, they'll collect and add it. Mindsets. 
and there are all kinds of books to help and massage that mindset and keep you in it hallelujah do you realize that every one of us in this place including myself have mindsets that have built up themselves as strongholds are you listening to me and except these mindsets are conquered some of us will never rise beyond our present level hallelujah there are certain people they go to school they do everything but their mindset still takes them i was listening to one man he said he's gone abroad he did this but he likes his local dish it's his best food i say it's a lie it's a lie you went abroad what did you eat where did you go abroad is it's like say i studied science where did you go which restaurant he said he came back and he found out that all those things are junk not everything is junk -o. let me tell you the truth just tell us based on your level of financial resources and the exposure that was available at that time you went to a place that did not create the best of pictures but don't because there are certain people living in a higher realm of life and you see the thing about mindsets is this listen there are two factors or forces that can help you get out of mindsets number one the word of god or number two premature exposure the danger is that if it's not the word of god that begins to reorient your mind you're going to become a disaster because when you suddenly realize let me give you an example someone who always just enters express express just stop he carries you to wherever you are going and then one day someone gives you a lift you've always known you are fine it's just that you didn't know the accent and then someone just stopped you in his bmw x5 i've been talking about that car hallelujah for me or you you are a student you better read your book you have exams next week hallelujah now you enter the car ah, suddenly you begin to find out that you mean there is a higher realm of life than what i have known hallelujah you sit down the seat adjusts itself on you how your mind something is happening at that point when you drop from that car what happens it leaves you with a memory the memory displaces something in your car your roommate that used to say hi you now say ah don't things are changing orientation are you listening to me or they now make you a leader whether a leader of your fellowship or something and suddenly for the first time they held your bible you've never known how it feels you've only imagined it ah, and you wanted to behave yourself but later on you couldn't hide it you laughed and you smiled and then everybody wants to leave the old for new if you taste of the new and it's better you will dump the old quickly when i was in port Harcourt, there was a preacher the church i attended there fulfilling world ministries and the man of god traveled abroad to uk for the first time they gave him three thousand pounds as honorarium when he came back pastor he said i saw a level of life that is better than the way you wicked members in this church have been subject no really and he in anger he said so i am this valuable and you people have been playing with me you go and see the way other people have you seen people like that say from today from today and called for certain partners that will be sowing into his life every week to the end of that year it was at, and they did something wrong in the church and he left he was going the members had to run and bring him i sat down there and i said you see you see why god doesn't answer some prayers you see why god doesn't answer oh god take me even if it's ghana take me out of this country and god says the way you are if your leg matches the international airport you you will come back you will not hear god again or anybody there are people like that too. they give you five thousand naira home and abroad that's all you have you just have to depend on god and use it well 
One day you went to your friend's house and the father gave you 100,000. Ah! You did everything you did in your small world and there was still change. You didn't even know what to do with it again. From that time, the day you see your father counting 5,000, you are just tapping your hand and say, if you won't give me, I know how to get it. Now I'm smart. This is what leads people into prostitution. They tested something that looked better than the old life, but it was not a derivative of the word of God. And so there's that craving. If I can just sleep with this orgasa and 200,000 is my own. It's not like it's for us to share my own. Who will know? And they start. Before you know it, they are changing mindsets. And so our goal in this place because there are many of you, the way you are receiving the word of God, your mindsets are saying no. It's just your head that is saying yes. When you are saying yeah, yeah, your mind is saying you are joking. I'm not giving way. I will preserve this mindset. There are some of you who will see someone, maybe your friend, going to go and sleep with one man, traveling, even during this exam now, going to go and collect the money for exam. And you say, well, the way I am, you know, it's not good to disturb people. Who told you? This, this issue of it's not good, they used to say this should not be done. Start scrutinizing the foundation of your mindset. Where did it come from? Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? See those mindsets responding in anger. I'm seeing all of them. The mindsets just coming from east, west, north, middle belt, all of them just rising. We will crumble them tonight in the name of Jesus because the Bible says Psalm 78 from verse 10 down to 17 and when you read further the Bible says that the nation of Israel haven't gone through 430 years of captivity the children were born in slavery born in servitude hallelujah the Bible says when they went to the wilderness they limited God by saying, can God make a way in the wilderness? Do you know, there are some of our parents today who do not ever believe that they can buy a new car. I mean brand new, I'm not talking of Belgium. Brand new. That you are the one who removes the rubber. When you say that, they just laugh. This stupid boy, you are still young. Grow up and you understand. What is all that? And there are many of us from the time you were earning 5,000, now God has helped you. You are earning 250,000 to buy a new shirt. The day you buy, you will cry because it looks like you lost a baby. Mindsets. You are in the boutique, you are just frowning. You come back, what happened? I bought a new shirt. This is something that is supposed to be a blessing. But that mindset of suffering, you are used to it to the extent that when God wants to give you a new opportunity, say, no, God is okay. I, I need to You go to a restaurant, you, 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 someone is paying the bill. You're already embarrassing yourself. How much is everything? What is your business? Stay the person took you. These are mindsets that disgrace us in public places. You are well dressed. You kept quiet. Nobody knew. When they said something, you just say, How are you the one paying for it? Or some of you, because you have never been there, when you get there, you will do crazy things. They say, okay, pick this. Say, hey, let me take it now. Because I don't know where. Give me this. Uh, puff puff, ice cream. Give me this. This cake. Is it for birthday or just normal days? Bring it. You reveal your mindset when opportunities give room. That's why many people limit themselves. Some people go for a job interview. As soon as you enter, you don't greet anybody. You just go to the seat and sit down. You say, I got first class. They just tell you, get up and walk out of this place. They will never give you that job. Doesn't matter who prayed for you. Bad manners, you just step in and enter and just sit down. And you're looking at everybody. Say, how are you? You say, hi. Hi. You are looking for a job. You think that's how the people got that job? They ask you a question. See, let me tell you. If the, God will help us this night, oh, say amen. amen. Yeah. 
you entered the job this in you saw that it was your uncle just say ah uncle yeah God have you they are doing an interview for you mindsets mindsets see this is why some people never step into some levels of grace and lifting and power they never become leaders they remain servants forever that's the mindset in africa you see nigerians on cnn or bbc and see what many of them do hallelujah we spend money and pay their flight they take from the national treasury and you, when it's time for them to speak look at the ambassadors of many countries articulating themselves very well when it gets to the point of nigerians they take personal issues that is not the business of the world and start venting listen to them on radio everywhere mindsets preachers mindsets they name their sermons after their annoyance i am coming back this time around for you what is that you just know that he's fighting with someone it's not the oil but the hand that holds the oil that matters let me tell you something a mindset can limit you you can never rise above and beyond the level of your mindset make sure as you are laughing you are taking it seriously hallelujah when God began to open my mind about my mindset, I found out that if I don't change my mindset, my life will never change. And I began a radical project to change my mind. Because as innocent and loving as my parents were, some of their mindsets were not consistent with God's word. Are you listening to me? And I knew that I have to change it. There are many of you who are waiting right now for your father or mother to die. You have been eyeing the house. You see people fighting. They are fighting over their grandfather's land. They should be ashamed of themselves. They say when he left it, was this not where he put the mark? From that time till now, you've not been productive to rise up and do everything. You are even gathering your children and say, when you see Uncle so so so, -so hate him for the rest of your life because that land is our own. What did I say? The children say, it's our own. They stand up with that mindset. They go around to school, say it's our land. You see why I sang that song? What's the song again? I can go back to the way. What is the it? What is the it? The mindset. It used to be terrible. So you are, you are making a vow that I won't go back. I've seen a higher light. I've seen a better life. That you can be prosperous and make heaven. That you can be a millionaire and make heaven. That you can walk in the dignity of kingdom integrity and still be prosperous. That you can shake your generation and bless people. That, from, that you can write the books that are in your heart. I study a lot about great people. Have a lot of their documentaries. Hallelujah. And I'm touched at how they spoke to themselves talk about the man nelson mandela great man had a dream in his heart and he said he was going to change the course of south africa and 20 years in prison did not stop him right now even on the occurrences his face that is there almost every note i think every note now many people clap and we use him as a case study he changed his mindset jesus was born in nazareth and the bible says can anything good come out of nazareth jesus said no my vision is beyond this place i refuse to be confined do you know that many of you seated here if you will tap one third of the grace that god has put in your life your generation will not recover from what you have but you've been hearing all kinds of voices that have been speaking to you every time you look at oprah winfrey you just imagine yourself but now with the perspective of the kingdom and your mindset just punishes you 
and said, you better hibernate. I think you need some rest. You think people just grow and become TV hosts? Hallelujah. Do you know how bad a mindset is? A mindset can be so bad to the extent that if someone comments you, you can think is the person is intimidating you or the person is insulting you. They just say, ah, you speak very well. Lo. You go back and ask 10 people and say, if somebody is angry with you, how should the person respond? Mindsets. Many of us have had different mindsets. When our parents are angry, they have names, they call us. Stupid boy, say, sir. So you have grown with that mindset. And now every time you want to move forward, that thing replaced. See, you can change the future, but you cannot change history. The mind has a memory bank. It keeps records of all the days when you could not do certain things. And when God begins to speak to you and say, look, I can take you to a higher place. Do you believe it? One of the greatest gifts a man can have is self-confidence. I don't mean arrogance. Self-confidence. Some of you have refused to learn how to drive till today, till tomorrow. Not because a car is not available. You believe the day you get in the road, you are going to kill somebody. And yet you see these, these outside boys, small boy of 9 years, 10 years. You know when they park the car in PZ, the masters will be resting. The boys are so confident. They don't ever imagine accident. That's how they learn. No, no driver's license, no nothing. Confidence many of you lose confidence you have a presentation you you are the best student you have the best work but you are fidgeting come and lead prayer you who prays very well now you are praying and oh father in the name of jesus you find yourself saying things you shouldn't say you didn't even know you have ended the prayer because of pressure all kinds of things but when the holy spirit begins to work on you listen to me the first thing is he exposes the flaw in your mindset. The greatest deceit that can happen to any man in the earth is to believe your mindset is okay the way it is. Every time I interact with God's word, I look at myself. Sometimes I just look at myself at the mirror. I say, Joshua, change for God's sake. And then I slap my head and I laugh back again. But I'm just, these are just efforts to say you need change. I read some of them his book multiply your success lead powerful leadership book there are many of you that what you are seeing he and i and all of these things god is already every time you sit here god is telling you do 10 times more than what you are seeing you say god me when will you stop that mindset of inferiority and complex are you listening to me that mindset of unworthiness and false humility and embrace what god has said about you there are ladies in this place you believe that if you get married it's a miracle in fact the wedding should be called thanksgiving not not wedding solemnization you just have some nasty negative things about yourself so other ladies their hands are soft and tush but our hands a testimony of hard work mindsets mindsets hallelujah mindsets there are some of us the first day they give you fork and spoon and knife you sit down and be laughing at yourself for a long time it's not like you cannot use it is it excitement or pressure you are just you don't even know what to do say i deserve a good life say it africa this is the gift Africa gave us. We grew up and met mindsets that will never tell us we can arise. Never. The day you took first, you went to your father and said, Daddy, I took first. He said, eh? What did you work for? What did I pay your school fees for? Give me a chance, Jerry, as the mechanic come. And you are wondering. You are saying somebody who took 10th position, they caught chicken for the person, your neighbor. And you took first. And they trivialize it. And you say, okay. According to my mindset, first is the same as 14th position. The next, next time, 
you get 20th position. And your father says, I always knew. We say it doesn't make any difference. Some of us grew up with that mindset. And so excellence lives your life permanently. You don't value it. You don't respect it. Get up and throw clothes on your, on your bed and leave it there. Say, sure, I'm going to marry one day. Mindsets. So, two couples get married. Are you, let me use somebody. Come, my dear. Are you ready to accept this lady as your lovely way? You didn't even listen. You just nodded. Yes. You and call. Yes. Two of you go to the house. Clash of heterogeneous mindsets. Coming from several places. In our world, my father treats me like a queen. The other guy in their world, I'm the king. Clash of values. When I'm pregnant, will you cook for me? Am I crazy? Will I cook for you? Men don't go to our kitchen in our, in our culture mindsets you see why it's good to stay with the word of god he said do not be conformed to this age but be what transform what does a transformer do say it what does a transformer do changes things god bless you my dear mindsets because the way many of us are going our mindset will lead to a fatal accident in life you are praying in tongues you are moving but your mindset is taking you back your mindset is taking to the extent do you know that well you can ask shakes and bishop by god's grace we have prayed for thousands of people in tongues and have found out that 90 percent of people who have challenges receiving the baptism of the holy spirit at that spot are people who were challenged with their mindsets when they begin to speak they turn aside and they are looking they feel like I'm such a villager. I cannot even articulate myself. Now you are saying I should be filled with the Holy Spirit. Did I really receive it? Or the one I received came from somewhere? They say, turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor you have a great destiny. Immediately you turn, you just see your village. You don't see another neighbor. And you remember. What about the farm? What about the tractor there? What about this? And God is telling you, you will rise from that level. Some of us, where we come from, maybe it's even a hut that you are staying, a real hut. So what? Say after me, so what? So you get and your dad is a carpenter. You just see one guy pass, you say, That's my, my father's younger brother. All these people, they tell them, work hard, they will work hard. Have you seen people like that? Denying their father and mother. Their mother sells akara, and they come. They say, "Who is that?" They say, well, they say "Mommy, mommy." They mention one name. They say, "It's just the name we call her." That's the express revelation of complex. You need a retreat, quick, quick. Whatever you are doing, stop and go for a retreat. We are not proud of ourselves. See, this is what makes a lot of guys. They come to meet a lady, and they come and they are telling her stories say to sin um my father just dropped one jeep who asked you who asked you say and the other day self i was even wondering and uh, you care for anything he doesn't have money pressure pressure he begged for someone's phone and told the guy to call him when he's with this lady see i deliver you from that mindset in this place in jesus name there are many ladies who cannot go and see their boyfriend or whatever they say, please give me this phone. Please give me your shoe. Please work with what you have. Covetousness, a product of mindset. You can't see anything good and leave it quietly. Hallelujah. Mindsets. Do not be conformed to this age. There are many of us who have adopted wrong mindsets of success right now. You're already imagining. If I become like Pastor Jakes, my own Zue Rao will not sit at the back. She'll be standing, holding the water. When I want to drink, I'll just shift my mouth like this and she'll put. That's your mindset. And as crazy as what I'm saying is, there are people today who are doing it. They do it with honor and dignity. There are pastors today that if their members see them anywhere, they will kneel down and have to greet them. And then he stands. 
you are embarrassing yourself because that's a mind. By the time you rise to a higher level, you see. You want to write a book. You say you want it to be a bestseller. You go and meet somebody in community market and say, can you produce this book for me? Is it going to be a bestseller that way? You are used to photocopying handouts, small books. God is saying, write something that will take nations. Are you getting blessed tonight? We are going to pray. See, the point of my message tonight is to reveal to you that your mindset has been keeping you where you are. As a ministry, we are where we are today because of our mindset. If we rise higher, we will move higher. Hallelujah. You see a lot of people, 10 years, 20 years, 5 members, 10 members, they keep giving all kinds of flimsy excuses. Good preachers, but bad leaders. They won't read about leadership. They won't read about all of these things. They won't increase. They won't go anywhere. You will remain at the level you are until light comes to pick you out of there. He said, arise and shine. Why? For your light. New knowledge. I promise you, you will remain at any level you are in life until light. If you are ready to disengage your former mindset and pick up something new, you can rise on that level. Hallelujah. God is telling you, you can be a TV host. And you sit down and say, I can't speak English. How many months does it take to learn sound English? I won't go back. I can't go back to the way it used to be before your presence. The way you grew up, you cannot remain like that. I won't go back. I can't go back to the way it used to be before your presence. Every time I look at myself, I see a great leader. I see a visionary leader. I have such a healthy perspective of my life. I admire people, but not enough to intimidate myself. Because I have stayed long enough in the secret place to know the things that he has put in me. And I know they will open any door. Many of you are trying to be like people who will one day admire you in the future. Did you know that I, had, I wanted to be like many people who want to be like me today? Because I did not know what I carried. And so we have all kinds of models on TV. Rihanna, who again? And you look at them and you smile, you imagine yourself in their place. Wrong models, and you begin to follow their own path, and you end up in destruction. I told myself, I will not die the way I was born. I was born quietly. Only my mother and a few visitors. I wouldn't die that way. Jesus was born in a manger. When he was going back to heaven, there was a crowd celebrating him. Let me tell you something. You can choose to rise beyond your level. There are many of us. ABU has limited you. Carryover has limited you. Your class of degree has limited you. You think you may never rise beyond that level. You must believe in yourself. Listen to me. I'm speaking to you right now. You must believe in yourself. Believe that you can become anything. The only limitation in my life is the voice of the Holy Spirit. As far as I'm concerned, there is nothing I cannot become. Nothing. 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 I remember when we were going to have our crusade in 2006. We are organizing it. You are going to a local government young just smiling all we had was faith but we knew we were going to do it they limited god many of you have limited god every time you look at the frustration of your family members god tells you you are the savior you will arise but every time god speaks it another voice 
another voice start speaking to you and many of us have yielded to those voices oh i believe in myself i have a great life i'm telling you i'm telling you the best that god has for me is my heritage in christ i believe i will write books that will shake this generation yeah i believe it listen we said this thing sir right from those days we'll pray and say we know it that god will do it that's why i tell some of you make faith proclamations whenever you say i'm great you just look you say i even trekked from campus to come so what so what there is nothing you are going through today that somebody did not go through and conquered it some of you have not eaten anything you came for koinonia hungry it's not because restaurants closed today it's because you didn't have money let me tell you something that is not enough to give you a mindset that you're a failure every time you go to your mother or your father they call you and say my son my daughter it's not like i don't love you you know if i had more i would have given if i were you i would go back and say lord take me out of this mindset fill me with the holy spirit make me a world changer and let my parents have a foretaste the man called pan and Pasi paul was living in my auntie's boys quarters used to stay in my auntie's boys quarters when he started this kind of music they kicked him out of many churches in Joss. but today when you enter his office you see awards that you cannot imagine hallelujah so the first point tonight is refuse to remain where you are this is why we teach the things we are teaching you must know that you are a leader you won't be a follower forever say i will not be a follower forever say it you cannot remain a follower forever you cannot remain in a rented house forever you grew up there you saw them humiliating your father and your mother you are not doing anything about it god is speaking to you tonight he said i'm a lady but nobody has come to marry me that's a mindset that needs to leave you because you believe that your life is tied around a man hallelujah there are many guys here you are just waiting to graduate some of you got your service this day today. You are happy. Not because they give awards in service place. But because of how much is the Alawi? 18.5. And you are smiling. In your world, that's prosperity. Say, I never had it that good. Leave me. Let me enjoy it. Your lecturer looks at you. And says, I brought your test and I look. You are a dull student. I've always known. Pretty lady, dull head. And you carry that mindset. You define yourself. I refuse any report that is not the word of God. Whatever my father did not have, I will give it to them. Whatever my mother did not have, I will give it to them. I told my mother this. I told her, you relax. Since I'm already alive, I'm walking. You just get ready to smile every day of your life the remaining part of your life will be years of laughter john the baptist was called a son of consolation many of you the way you are going you see someone 35 years your parents are still helping you 35 years pop season and someone you are 35 years no pressure Will you marry? I'll think about it. What are you doing in your life? That lad, nobody should leave me alone. I'm not a small child. And every time they put small food, say, I'm not a small child. So you know. Back out. Back out of your father's house. No sense of responsibility. You are not paying any bills. You are not doing anything. The little money you get, you go and play football. You come back in the evening. Throw your boots everywhere. What kind of life is this? And you went to school. You read, you graduated, but your mindset has betrayed you. 
and everything people just say is somebody in your village calm down before you finish calling the names of innocent people in your village find out how see there are many ministries claiming blessings oh we are working in millions ask them do you have an account do you have an account they say no whose account will you use say well uh, when it comes we will be able to arrange ourselves let me tell you something it will end in those loud noise in the mic you are not pre the bible says go and borrow vessels if you truly believe that new oil is coming borrow vessels it didn't say borrow oil it said borrow vessels hallelujah three ways to transform your mind right quickly number one ah, the lord is challenging people tonight right number one generally speaking all right this is just generally speaking you need a new orientation whenever you find out that you have a faulty mindset the bible says you cannot put new wine in what an old wine skin you need both a new wine and a new wine skin you want to transform your mind number one realize that your present mindset is not its best realize it come to terms with it i don't care if your father is a billionaire is your father's money is not your money i don't care if you're a five pointer or you're a one pointer i don't care if you are working in a bank or you are working in an oil company listen to me there is more in your life you cannot remain this way i've always known that there's more in my life some of you are here and all that is in your world is you are local champions here in zaria the best student in your class and you think that's how the world will treat you everywhere you step out and find out a rude shock when i was in secondary school we used to win every debate we go to we didn't know that it was just that our standard was low i was saying we are very smart people one day we tried one school i won't mention the name ah we tried one school what they did for us that day I was one of the speakers. We embarrassed ourselves that day. We hated our school that day. Hated the principal and everybody. I just looked at them. I wished I wasn't in that school. Because we were local champions. In our little local government where we were. Hallelujah. The first day I tried jam mathematics. After five hours I got four. Only four. I said this is serious serious i was the best student in my class i said this is serious a mindset kept me believing that i'm a superstar now jam brought their question i didn't do for damas so i knew that this is not child's play immediately i recognized the need hallelujah I started organizing lessons for my classmates a rescue mission quick because i told them look let me tell you we'll write waek and be short because of that i started challenging myself i tried gc i did very well and when i looked i said there's got to be more it's got to be more I was a laboratory prefect. I won't go out. Oh. I locked myself in the lab there. Because I didn't know more. So I thought all that there was was intellect. But I sat down there. The other best student. In my school then, the smartest student got lab and library, not head boy. Head boy was for talkatives. If you were smart and they wanted you to have a good result, you become the library prefect or the lab prefect. So that you can sit down in one place. I made up my mind not to be small. I started reading further maths on my own. 60% of my chemistry I learned it by myself. See, I didn't do the kind of your school. In our own school, we were was building the school as students. When you misbehave, you just go and change. Oh yeah! Change and go and serve job. Some of you were, you were to 
schools where you already laptop did we ever have a laptop we had to borrow Whitstone Bridge for work yet I, I told myself I said this will not define my life I'm going far are you listening to me many of you have kept yourself in positions giving flimsy excuses I told myself one day my world will celebrate me number one go for knowledge buy the truth please write buy the truth read books that will mold your character read books that will teach you leadership read books on fatherhood read books on ministry this is why we are putting together a school of ministry the school of ministry is not for pastors the school of ministry is to raise ambassadors in all spheres hallelujah raise ambassadors go for knowledge look at me many of you have some of you apart from your grammar english grammar that you read you've never sat down to read any book and finish it you look at a book five thousand naira is over my dead body five thousand abba what will five thousand do i can buy beans i can buy one tier of 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 gary and mix all this in. that's why it's only my mother who says only your stomach that will be coming out your destiny will remain where it is because that's the only thing you are feeding guard your heart guard your heart some of you god has told you you'll be a leader over many what books have you read about leadership you don't know anything about leadership so you are doing traditional leadership in your faculty because that's all you know that's what you saw the king <laughs> the king of your village do now you have become a president and you are you just imagine the members of the cabinet those people that are carry koboko and follow king and you begin to treat people because that's what you know when life puts pressure on you you reveal your mindset many of you lack character you lack communication skills you wake up in the morning you cannot greet your roommate to say good morning say am i a child they gave that to me 5th of october 1975 you they gave that to you 6th of october am i not older you see mindset mindset you eat food and ask the person carry the plate mindset what when, when has it given anybody food and you are bold to say it when people come you say this is my younger brother must you tell us are we blind forget the fact that he's bigger than me he's my young calm down mindset You'll never be a leader with this mindset. You may be a good tongue talker. You may be a good miracle worker. But you cannot take your world this way. Because the world you are going to take are not born again. It takes more than just praying in tongues to take your world. Are you listening to me? There must be a level. I was reading an article by Jimo Ibrahim. He just celebrated his 46th birthday and I was so touched. I was just reading about his history. Jimo Ibrahim. Some of you don't even know who is, who is Jimo Ibrahim. You are in Nigeria here. The only thing you know is, is what's, which is the latest soup opera now. They don't do it again. Paloma, second chance. That's all you know. That's why you are behaving like what you have been watching. But tonight I'm challenging you. Say after me, I go for knowledge. Because see, when you begin to the bible says look for it says jesus took the book and he saw where it was written by prophet isaiah the spirit of the lord is upon me he found in the volume of the books where it was written you can find your destiny when you go for knowledge the first book i began to read when i made up my mind to walk in destiny was discovering your potentials Dr. Miles Monroe, I will never forget what that book did for me. Understanding your potentials. I didn't even know there was something called potentials. And I said, all right, this is it. This is it. I will begin a journey. 
read books on leadership you are always fighting with your sister at home it's a sign that you are going to beat up your wife get a book on fatherhood quick quick every small child you see you say me i hate children ah that's a revelation that you need to read something go to sunday school books cm read something read scriptures about jesus relating with children receive that impartation some of you are about to write your exams once again the mindset that brought you i patched three c's added two more and i came to this school and now god is telling you this semester you will have the best of results and you laugh you say where are them uh, where are them so 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 as if their success will stop your own i believe in myself i know that god can take me anywhere do you believe this about yourself hallelujah i'll never be small in life no never i will do great things for the kingdom this is where i like christ christ embassy oh they give you a mindset of a champion they give you a mindset of a warrior. They, they shape a mindset that refuses failure totally. I refuse to be a failure in life. I refuse it. I refuse the limitations of my lineage. Whoever has looked at your family and said, can anything good come? You hold on and see. You are a miracle on your way to happen. Are you listening to me? Everyone. God has given you a music ministry. Every time you look at these great people who told you you cannot become like one of them. Every man in the earth today was born. He was a baby in the hands of someone. A mindset took him to where he is. They asked Jimo Ibrahim, they said, what is the secret of your blessings? And he said, number one, the grace of God. He said, number two, knowledge. He said, sometimes I look at Nigerians, if they know what I know, they will live where they are instantly. Do you know that's true? The same way you can grow in knowledge and mindset and change different things. Look at what God is doing by the grace of God. The organization, the leaders and the rest. You think this is guesswork? This is not just prayer. Many of you want great leaderships. You want a great business, great company, great this. You have the name, but you've not read any book. If you like, go and register the name. You will remain a broke failure in life. Broke failure. Until the mindset of God takes you out of that level. Hallelujah. The people from my place drink. They drink a lot. I told myself that mindset, I will kick it out of my life. I will never be associated with the evil that comes from my territory are you listening to me there are some of you your your clans or villages are associated with different kinds of things temper lust immorality demonic practices irresponsibility will you take this as a mindset and say it happens to everybody is it my fault that i was born from so so place hallelujah one day your father looked at you and said sorry i cannot pay your school fees and you had to fend for yourself are you going to allow your children to think like that many of you are shallow minded you're not thinking five years from now you're not thinking 10 years from now let me I, I, and i'm speaking to the guys most especially you are just growing old and, and, and growing beard on your face you are not adding anything to your head per day i never sleep any day until i add new knowledge to myself never my eyes does not see sleep until i add something the more you have knowledge you will be in command in life look at the chinese north korea the whole hands their hands is like from here to here short people but they are ruling the world because it's not about their size it's about their intellectual capacity many of you need to begin to buy books is oga jordan around he didn't come oga jordan where is he it's outside jordan bookstore is there see it's better for you to buy one trouser 250 250 naira on the floor 
They may laugh at you, but not for long. I assure you, it won't be for long. Show me a man who will pay the price to change his mindset. You are in partnership with God for a victorious life. You won't die a failure. It may take a while. Hallelujah. Do you believe this about yourself? When God called me, I believed. I have never sat down to think, Kai, am I too small? Am I? No, I don't think all those kinds of satanic thoughts. Because I found in Philippians chapter 2 verse 8, it said, finally, brethren, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are true, I can go anywhere, I can do anything. If God tells me to build a 10-story building for Koinonia, off I go. Off I go. You will be saying it won't happen. You will just find out that will give you a letter for the dedication. Confidence. Kabbalah Tabayara. But I know whom I have believed. See, I want you to be confident about your life. If you are not confident about your life, you will need someone else to keep endorsing you. There are many of you that will never be satisfied. You do a nice hair. You know it's nice. You need 10 people to tell you it's nice before you believe. What kind of life is that? Stop trying to prove points and settle down. Go for knowledge. Say, I contend for knowledge. Say it. Yes, you may stay in the house. You fetch water from the stream. You are still doing it right now. Fetch the water from the stream. But carry your Bible and carry the book. Say, Lord, one day I will have I will have boreholes and I will build boreholes in my village. Hallelujah. You eat once a week, no problem. In the midst of your pain, just tell yourself, I'm changing my mind, I'm changing my life. I told myself this thing long ago. Hallelujah. I believe in ear and I. I believe in where God is taking us. That's why all the things that are happening today, it's not a shock. We are just grateful. Never a shock. Not at once. See, listen. It's not happening because of Joshua Selman. It's happening because of a mindset. I assure you, if you have it, you will rise. Whether you are on jeans or you are, it's about your mindset. Are you listening to me? Some of you, God is speaking to you about bakeries. You have passion for bread, but you are sitting down. You are saying, bakery, I went to school. Sit down there. The day someone who will... See, prophecies are like rain. Whoever brings a container will receive with it and will run. You sit down there and be delaying. You will watch someone run with your vision and accomplish it. I believe that by the grace of God, one day, we will own our television station debt free. We won't stand on air telling anybody, please bring $35 and 5 cents. No. Because God has given us the law of prosperity. It's a matter of time. Gentiles will come from, a day will come it will be a privilege to partner with us. Oh, it will happen. Do you believe this about your life? I believe a day will come when I will not even be allowed to buy anything with my money. Because people we have changed will be too grateful too grateful to make my daughter head girl by force just as a way of it's my mind it's my mind one day my child will say daddy can i have this in the freezer i say go on i didn't enjoy it have it what will your child say the day he calls you daddy will he say daddy i have something that i want to discuss with you why are we like this change your mindset you have received a wrong mindset many of us do not like what we receive from our parents but you are already becoming what you hate because you are not doing anything about your mindset exactly what you hate you are already becoming it i refuse to remain the way i am i contend for knowledge i won't behave like a nigerian i'll behave like a citizen of the what is the need for me that's the language of Nigerians. Chop, I chop. You can never help somebody and go quietly. 
what is in it for me wrong mindsets we got from nigeria many of you are adopting it you like it someone says do you have the number of somebody here say i have send me 200 naira recharge card you would think you are joking but now you are used to it but i deliver you from that mindset tonight tonight we are going to be praying so number one go for knowledge number two consistently speak the word of god consistently speak the word of god speak the word of god speak the word of god the word of god comes with power the word of god comes with hope hallelujah i was talking with the protocol team yesterday and i was telling them a day will come who we'll have bosses bosses E -S 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 bosses that we can give a way to help many people look at today by the grace of god we are going to shika tomorrow and sunday hallelujah and we're not even thinking about the budget oh well we do this the grace of god we are going to now start becoming a blessing to others you if you do not believe do you know many people will suffer because of your mindset you can be a blessing to the world I refuse to be where I, am. I will not remain in this state next month I should have left this realm of reality to a higher one I learned this from Samadhi and me oh I have certain people who have mentored my mind some of you sit down there God is telling you listen to Samadhi and me and Matua Shimolo to understand success principles your pastor is there with his mindset telling you don't listen to anybody again he's a broke failure it's just that he's called he's sitting there and he's educating you in your little world and you will not break boundaries and see what God is doing internationally was this message preached by my pastor no I won't listen to it and you remain there hallelujah you see an elderly woman speaking wisdom about family life you will humble yourself and listen you say i'm a pastor in my church you are fumbling fumbling in life and you won't calm down and listen are you learning something please see you must begin a project and tell yourself you are changing your mindset i'm changing it I'm changing it. Hallelujah. When Tosin was the former treasurer, she surprised me. When we just started Koinonia, listen, when we just started Koinonia, this offering bags that we have was a personal donation. We just started and she made at least 400. And she began to tell me, she, she said, Josh, I think we need to start preparing for a counting machine. Counting machine? She said, because I see increase coming. What's your thought like? Your many parents didn't plan. They put one small house with one garage. They never planned for increase. That's how many of you are thinking. My little life my house one room all the children will stay me and my wife will stay an extra room where we are fighting she will stay there that's your mindset listen say after me i break free everybody inside and outside i break free from the mindset that came from my village that is associated with my lineage tonight i break free in the name of jesus i declare that i rise above cultural limitations i rise above the limitations in africa the world will hear my voice i'm the head and not the tail i have books to write i have lives to change I'm a leader yes that's how you speak and then you behave like one you start composing yourself like one no misbehavior iron your shirt 
dress smart if you are barbing bab well don't bab as if they took light and, and, and you ran out be smart it doesn't matter what you have your notebooks that you're right be smart when you get up in the morning dress your bed keep your room clean you are behaving like your your future many of us are still behaving like our past god gave you a bed you are still remembering the days of the mat you don't need to repair mat you just stand up and leave your bed sheet. white bed sheet it has turned to brown visitors come and say have seats please dirty bed sheet like that you are not going far with that mindset and some of you are ladies you won't go far forget about all these things walk on yourself this night hallelujah you want to be a leader you cannot sit down the day 5000 enters your body you are, you are shaking you must see that you must spend everything you withdraw it and just put it in your pocket you are not using it but you are just happy you are just walking around filled with anxiety what kind of life is that See, I'm challenging you. We are going to pray. But God is speaking to someone. Enough is enough. Are you going to continue where your parents stopped? Or you are going to rise? God gave you a job. You are not doing your best now. They ask you why. You say, because I'm collecting 10,000. Bible says, he who is faithful in little. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? I break free from mindsets. I want to teach you four things very quickly. Right. I taught it some years ago. To help us conduct ourselves very well and behave like leaders. I want to teach you four very important words. Number one. Please. Write it. P-L-E-A-S-E. -E, please. Write it quick and look at me, please, because we're going to pray. We're out of time. Look at me. Many of you, this is the singular word that has cheated you from your destiny. You can never say, please. Carry this thing and give me. Please. Everybody say after me, please. Did he kill you? Say it again, please. Learn it. This is why many of you were not voting. They, they didn't make you the president in your family. Never become it. Because you cannot be cautious. Let me tell you something. When you tell people, please, it's a sign of value on them. That you respect them. That you honor them. The highest psychological need of any man is to feel valued and to feel important. Please, can you help me? Please, can you do this? Please tell him I may not make it. Please learn it. This singular word has made people millionaires and has made others broke and they will continue remaining where they are as failures. Please. Please, I may not be free now. Please, I may not. Hello, hello, hello. Call me, call me. Call me. I don't have credit. Thank you. You are praying in tongues. I assure you, you won't be a leader. If I am the person I'm, I'm doing interview for your employment, I guarantee you I will employ you. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. You may be attending Koinonia, I will employ you. Guaranteed. Hallelujah. Please. Please. Can I give me cold water? My chest, this food is hot. Give me cold water. Is it your own? You came to someone's house, they are treated. Please. Everybody say after me, please. Learn to say please. I'm teaching you how to be a leader. Learn to say please. Some of you, you only say it when you are in trouble. Please. Many of you, guys, if only you told the lady please, she would have said yes. You carried your mouth and just came. Tongue talking, but no manners. Grace, but no character. I want to talk to you. I'm saying I want to talk to you. You are going come now. Is he your younger sister? And then during relationship program, you say there are some people here. When we tell them to come, they won't come. Why will they come? Why? 
it takes a lot of humility and it reveals a sense of maturity and courtesy when you tell people please one more time say please say it please number two i'm sorry i'm sorry has made two nations to go for war one demanded a public apology the other one said over my dead body he says all right we'll kill ourselves over our dead bodies i'm sorry listen when you say i'm sorry it's not a sign of weakness it's a sign of tremendous strength many husbands have fought with their wives because they cannot say i'm sorry pastors are fighting one another they cannot say i'm sorry hallelujah politicians are fighting themselves they cannot say i'm sorry you called me a pastor instead of a reverend just say i'm sorry say uh -huh. Uh -huh. i'm sorry i'm sorry ah why didn't you i'm sorry see sometimes you must not be the one at fault to say i'm sorry sometimes you just need to say it and let it be there is a saying in my language that if because you are holding bone flies are disturbing your mouth throw the bone and let the flies go with it nice proverb not dull proverbs that don't have meaning very nice proverb hallelujah everybody say i'm sorry I, you didn't do anything but just say it you are learning say i'm sorry now turn to your neighbor and say i'm sorry some of you to sting your ego that's the mindset i want to go out say do it again i'm sorry from today listen now that i have access to you i must teach you and you must learn it by force tomorrow will not be able to say it pastor to members whatever i'm sorry when you hurt people tell them you are sorry i'm sorry sometimes you may do it unconsciously whenever you are aware i'm sorry mean it from your heart not this kind of wicked i'm sorry that is even more painful it's better to keep quiet they say two of you apologize i'm sorry is that a problem see two couples who call for counsel okay it's okay it's okay say i'm sorry i'm sorry say darling i'm darling i'm sorry you know that this 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 is not they are not even ready for reconciliation but the Bible says God has given us what? The ministry of reconciliation. Everybody say after me, I'm sorry. You must learn it. People hurt you every day and you are hurting others as much as they are hurting you. So you must get set with I'm sorry. You will use it many times in your life. Are you learning something this night? Is something changing in your mind? Many of you after this grace... You just need to call. You are broke and you are suffering because you didn't tell your father, I'm sorry. They would have sent you money since January. You have not received your allowance. Now it's March. Only that day, I'm sorry. I shouted at you that day, I'm sorry. And Monday, you will get an alert. But you are sitting here. You are dying. Your father is enjoying. You are suffering. Please, after this, go and take your phone or break your pride and help yourself. Exam is coming next week. I'm sorry. Number three thank you thank you look up look up do you know thanksgiving is the principle of multiplicity in the realm of the spirit are you listening to me when you thank someone for what he has done he will reproduce it hallelujah thank you if someone does something good to you 20 times say thank you 20 times 20 times don't say i said it one i, I said it one huh? 20 times thank you say after me thank you an expression of gratitude an expression of compliment see these are the things that make people to love being around certain atmospheres some of you now see the reason why you don't have any friend you are your only friend your environment is is acidic it chokes everyone that comes around you thank you someone buys you a present someone says ah um you were supposed to iron your shirt i just ironed it for you because i thought you'll be praying you say uh -huh. 
That's exactly what you will do to your wife. She just cooks and says, Darling, nice meal. He said, mm -hmm. I'm reading newspaper. Thank you does not kill. Thank you. Everybody say after me, thank you. You go for an interview. Please, may I sit? Yes, you sit down. When you finish the interview, you say thank you. You are talking in a meeting, whether business meeting or leadership meeting. They say, all right, you speak. Thank you for the opportunity to speak. This is what I have to say. Ah, people will be looking at you. They'll say, now we need a chairman for this, but before they say anything, they say you are the one. You see the reason why many people pray in tongues? They pour gallons of oil on them, but they remain where they are because their mindsets betray them. You got first class, but you don't have manners. No character, wrong mindset, and you are not walking till today. Hallelujah. Everybody say after me, thank you. You must cultivate it. Tell people thank you. Someone adjust your seat. Someone held you. Thank you. Thank you. Don't say if I speak too much, I'll become cheap. Say mindset. Where did you get it from? Finally, God bless you. Oh, you must learn to bless people. When I taught it four years ago, I added one, I love you. But our society has become so bad. You tell someone I love you, say you mean it. Instead of him to say thank you. Say, ah! Why did you say this now? So let's stop at God bless you. <laughs> you say I love you when we're in Colonia here. Well, you go and tell your classmate tomorrow. First, you say, My God, this is unbelievable. Ha -ha. Say after me, God bless you. In Jewish days, if you curse your son, they will, they will stone you to death. They blessed their children. Even the Lord spoke in numbers to Aaron and said, In this manner you shall bless the people. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. It was a benediction of blessing that was given to the people every time many of you don't bless people they come to you they go back scattered and battered there must be words of love see just these things i've taught you i assure you it's enough to make you an extraordinary leader let's review it very quickly we are praying number one you, you see you cannot remember number one say it see some of us are feeling like big boys and big girls you see this is the this is the mindset. When you say, please, you are feeling kind. Like this thing where you are making us become like children. Are you mature the way you are behaving? Say after me, please. Number two. Number three. Number four. Don't never forget this. Begin to use it immediately. Begin to use it immediately. It will work like magic for you. See, many of you are already feeling a healthy esteem about yourself because you're announcing that, ah, so I'm having some secrets now. I'll go and try it. Let me tell you, it will open some doors for you beyond your imagination. Please, use it for your roommate and see the way they will love you. Say, this is my roommate. You don't know my roommate. That's why no matter what I use, use it. Just use it first. Rise up on your feet and let's pray. Strongholds of the mind. Walk around and pray in one minute and say, Lord, I have a mindset that needs change. From tonight, begin a journey in me. Lift your voice and pray. Inside and outside, begin to pray and prophesy. Lift your voice and pray. Say, Lord, my mindset, my mindset needs adjustment needs realignment you have begun a work in me help me show me the relevant books the relevant materials the relevant knowledge scriptures 
that would change me. Hallelujah. Look at me. We are still praying. You are going to pray. Guys, all this sagging your jeans, you sag it down and you tie, you, you tie your belt on your, on your laps instead of your waist. It's called stupidity and childishness. No lady will marry you like that. Grow up this night and start behaving well. Hallelujah. Oh yes. Yes. Lift up your voice and pray and say, Lord, I begin to walk on myself. Come on, you are a leader. You can't remain a child forever. Compose yourself. You are going somewhere to happen. Pray for yourself, sister. Pray for yourself, brother. There's greatness in me and I'm going somewhere to happen. When I was a child, I thought like a child. I spoke like a child. I understood like a child. Now that I'm a man, I lay aside childish ways. Lift your voice and pray. I take responsibility for my life. I go for knowledge. Pray. I go for knowledge. I go for knowledge. I buy the truth. And I sell it not. I stop a life of falsehood. And I contend for transformation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All of you who are going, you are leaving for service, lift your hands inside and outside. I want to pray for you. All those who are going for service, lift your hands. We're out of time. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord honor you wherever you have been sent. I speak to you, fear not. It doesn't matter where you were posted to. I command that the Lord will cause the earth to bring increase for you. Go and reign. Go and conquer that territory. You are well able. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that as you go, your road is blessed. In the name of Jesus Christ, that at the end of one year, you will be a champion. That at the end of one year, you will do exploits. In the name of Jesus, I pray for your spiritual life. You will not forget about God. In the name of Jesus, go and be a leader. We send you to be a leader wherever you are. Your qualities will distinguish you and make you a leader. I pray for your place of primary assignment. May the Lord favor you without any human connection. May the Lord God of Israel favor you. In the name of Jesus. Now lift your hands. I want to pray for all those writing exams. Inside and outside, please lift your hands. First and foremost, I terminate the mindset of failure from you. In the name of Jesus, whatever lies the devil has spoken to you, forget about yesterday. It's a new day. Forget about your test. Forget about what you did not do well. I impart upon you courage. Run with the spirit of Elijah and write your exams. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy to you, you are well able. Take on your papers with the heart of a lion. Go and conquer. Go and subdue. You will not weep. May the Lord honor you. May he reveal things to you in the night. You will not read like a slave. May the Lord open your eyes. May he direct you. Walk under open heavens. For those of you who need financial backup, may the heavens be open over you. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord raise men to favor you. In the mighty name of Jesus, every sickness that comes during exams, I banish it from your life. You will not be a victim of malpractice. In the name of Jesus, no one will implicate you. Whatever you read, you will not forget in the exam hall. Let it come in the name of Jesus. Even what you did not read, may the Lord bring it by impartation to you. Go and excel. Do exploits in your academics. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, we give you thanks. Very quickly, you are here and you are not born again. You have not given your heart to the Lord. That's the first mindset that needs to change. That you do not need a Savior. Oh yes, you need a Savior. 
the Bible says, come unto me all ye that are weary and heavy laden and I will give you rest. I believe that there are people inside and outside who have never made a decision for Jesus. Or you made a decision for Jesus once, but you found yourself derailing. Right now, I'd like you to leave your seat inside and outside and come out. Welcome home. The Lord wants to give you a new beginning. Are there people like that? Leave your seat and come. God bless you. They are coming. I appreciate them. Thank you, sister. Thank you, sister. Don't let anybody stop you. Welcome. The Lord is calling you into a great outside. God bless you. They are coming. I see them coming from outside. Appreciate them. This is the greatest decision. Keep coming, sir. Keep coming, my sister. God bless you. That's the first mindset that needs to change. God bless you, my brother. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. We salute your courage. Thank you for coming. Keep coming. They are coming. Please hurry up. Let's save time. Keep coming. God bless you. It's the beginning of a journey. Hallelujah. Listen, it doesn't matter where you have been and what you have done. I want you to know that today can be the beginning of a brand new day for you. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I come before you unable to help myself. But today, I have heard your word and I believe that you are able to help me. Lord Jesus, I give my heart to you. Be the Lord of my life. Take total control of my life. In the name of Jesus. Satan, I have no business with you again. I will not return to my past life. I am born again and Jesus is Lord of my life. Hallelujah. I appreciate you for making this great decision. Look at me. This is the best decision you have made in this life. This is the beginning of a great life. I want you to know that you will experience the blessings of God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let this lady go. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, come out of her right now. In the name of Jesus, our devil of darkness, she's giving her heart to the Lord. Come out of her now. Spirit of infirmity, let her go. In the name of Jesus, the Lord bless you. In the name of Jesus, please follow the ushers very quickly. Appreciate them as they go. Follow the ushers, they'll have your details quickly. hallelujah hallelujah now you're worshiping with us for the first time please leave your seat and run out here if you know that this is your first time of worshiping we have a blessing for you outside we are waiting for you come on run here quickly god bless you my sister thank you for your boldness hallelujah quick 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 please appreciate them thank you for coming thank you and thank you for hurrying up that's how your life will be <laughs> hallelujah Hallelujah. Keep clapping. Appreciate them. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for coming. This is Koinonia, put together by Eternity Network International. Were you blessed this night? Go and use what you've been blessed. You will shine with it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Stretch your hands and let's pray for them, saints of God. Bless them. We bless you. We only have words of blessings upon our lips and we bless you with it. We are anointed. And when we speak over your life, you are blessed. We command the blessing of the Lord upon you. We declare that in the name of Jesus, you begin to move forward in your life. Advance. Move beyond your former level. In the name of Jesus. May the Lord cause you to prosper. May the Lord cause you to walk in greatness. In the name of the Lord Jesus. The limitations of the past are over. In the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for coming. God bless. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.